Welcome to another vlog. Welcome back to another year, actually. I hope you are doing great because I'm doing pretty good. The other day we went skiing, which was beautiful. The weather was completely sunny and blue skies and perfect slopes. That was one of my favorite skiing days ever with friends and my sister. And we had such a good time. So the new year is here. That rhymes. I was thinking of, okay, the new year is here. I need to be productive again. I need to be motivated to do and start things, but nope, that's not happening right now until I started this vlog. I'm going to do a new project, which I wanted to share with you guys. What I found actually and what motivated me again was this picture of obviously checkered beanies. It's not like a regular checkered beanies, it's a mixed up checkered beanie. So that's what I found on Pinterest and I got inspired and I thought like, okay, I have lots of leftover yarn that I don't use for any projects. This is like the kind of perfect project to use up your leftovers. And I collected some of the yarns, put some color combinations together and I thought I'm gonna do a beanie and share the process with you guys. So for this one, I'm chaining up 51. This is not the length around your head, it is the length for your head. Like this is the length of your beanie. So I'm chaining up 51 and I'm starting the, the process actually for the checkered pattern. For each of the checkered patterns, I'm going to add five single crochets and change the color. So we skip the first loop and go directly into the second one, do a single crochet for five times. In order to change the color, we do not close the last stitch of our fifth single crochet yet and add the new color, which is in my case, a brown. Adding it and tie a little knot to the axis. And now we work with the next color. For the next upcoming five stitches, taking the blue axis yarn with us in between the stitches, putting it in between the stitches. So you can see that it's in between the stitches, not behind, not in front, just in between. And now we close up the whole game again with the old color, continuing five single crochet stitches again. By the way, I'm using acrylic yarn. All right, so I've been crocheting 40 stitches right now. And when you hit the 40th stitch, so you have 10 chains or 10 stitches still left, you're gonna stop the checkered single crochet pattern. And then you start with a slip stitch, five stitches. When we have done the five slip stitches, we chain up one, turn our work and do the same exact process again. So we slip stitch, but this time only in the back loop. So when you finished your five slip stitches, you just start all over the same process again, looping in the new color. So this part is just a chain with five chains. Then we have five slip stitch chains and then we have the normal single crochet chain. And now we are going to single crochet only in the back loop our checkered pattern back to the first stitch, chain up two and start our row three. Actually from now on um, we are only working in the back loop. I just finished the row two and now I'm going to end up my last stitch with both strings in order to chain up one. So we are going to add one more of the blue chains in order to turn our work and start working in the back loop, single crocheting, row three. Now I'm hitting my slip stitch part. So I'm going to change the color to blue again, finishing up my last stitch. And now I'm going to start slip stitching again in the back loop. But this time I'm going to slip stitch 10 times in order to yeah, connect the parts for the end of our chain. And now I chain up one, turn the work, and do the same exact process back again. Okay, I'm 
currently almost finishing up my fifth row. So each square has five stitches and five rows to make it squared. And now I'm at the end again and start continuing slip stitching five stitches only in the back loop again and chain up one and turn my work actually and, and in the sixth row we are going to do 10 slip stitches again so we are skipping 10 slip stitches each row and only do it in this each second row does that make sense so i'm adding five slip stitches now turn my work and go back again half of the beanie. Kind of exciting. I always continue one of the colors in the next pattern. So I continued the dark blue into the next pattern and now I'm continuing the light blue in the next pattern and then I'm going to continue the orange in the next pattern. So everything is coherent. <laughs> It's been a while that I've talked actually about some books. I've read a very cool book over the Christmas break. And what I'm actually talking about is the Midnight Library. I had this like all over my Goodreads. So I picked it up and I couldn't put this one down. It's so inspiring, especially the story. It's basically about a character who decided to yeah to to die and before she actually passes away she gets into a midnight library where she can pick any kind of life she wants to where she prioritized a different decision on something for example in one life she's a olympic swimmer on the other life she's a rock star and she is determined actually to find the perfect life that's in this book it's very inspiring um, i really loved actually how it's been written and it's very fast pacing as well and right now i'm reading something that i've also picked up through goodreads goodreads is such a good app actually it completely motivates me to read more and this one was also under my discover page on goodreads and it's called project hail mary and it's by andy wire he's actually the author from the martian so i had no doubts that this one is also pretty good and it is pretty good so this book i picked up because i really i'm really hyped about science fiction obviously and when it comes to extraterritorial life especially i'm super hyped and i really love reading about it because I find it super interesting and this book is obviously about it and it's about someone who gets sent into a suicide mission to do some science on extraterritorial life actually. I'm really enjoying it, I just started it and I'm gonna keep you updated about this on my Goodreads. <laughs> I've 
practiced a lot lately like I tend to show you guys always my breakfast I recognize but I have like the feeling breakfast is one of the most important meals of the day and lately I've been experimenting with different oats breakfasts like breakfast that contains oats like porridge overnight oats I've tried them all and I'm kind of having fun with that I'm really enjoying it also I cut my hair also what I forgot to tell actually is the other day I was talking about Goodreads and recommending my favorite or recent reads actually and I'm managing all my reads with Goodreads by the way this is no advertisement or something like that because I absolutely love this app I figured since I'm starting I started to use this app in 2021 and since a new year is starting I kind of try to make book goals and challenging myself to read more because I really want to read more this year. I used to refuse reading a lot during my teen, during my teenage years. So I try to kind of catch up again. Goodreads helps me a lot to find new books and stuff like that. But it also helps me to challenge myself. So I, I started a reading challenge for 2022. I'm not a eagerly, like I'm not very... I don't want to over exaggerate this challenge so I set my goal to 25 books which is absolutely possible for me I know that but it's also kind of a challenge to keep continue reading books during the year because I know that I always have phases and when a certain phase ends I don't know I do not go back to these phases so I have now this reading phase and I have like the feeling that and half of a year, I do not have this reading phase anymore. So I challenge myself with 25 books. If I make it, wow. If not, it, it's not too bad though. I think it's a pretty promising goal to, to, to achieve. And I've already done one, which is cool. I've already read one book. I'm about to finish my second book, which is Project Hail Mary, which I already showed you guys. By the way, such a good book. I continue reading and it's mind-blowing. I l absolutely love it. I can fully recommend you guys. And um, that's uh, that's the talk about my books. So challenge yourself in reading. Reading is fucking hot, if you can say that. People who read are hot. Let's manifest that. Let's manifest for 2022 to challenge ourselves in reading. Read more. To update you bestie actually on the beanie, I'm done. By the way, I will uh, upload a written pattern down on my Pinterest and link it down below so you guys can successfully, yeah, recreate it. So this is how it looks right now. This is 47 centimeters long. So it's the perfect size for my head. My head is not 47 centimeters long, but it needs to be stretched. We don't want to have like a loose beanie on our head. We want to have a stretched one. So I tested it out and it should be working. So if I'm doing like this, it's a little bit stretched, but not too tight. And it keeps it warm. You can either put it over your ears, but I'd like to wear my beanies like a little dwarf head. It looks <laughs> funny. So what we are going to do next is um, connect the pieces and close it with a slip stitch. outfit you can combine this bestie I'm gonna show you some beanie styles how you can wear your beanie okay so I wear it like this the drip is on guys the drip is on 
Well, yeah, bestie, I hope you like this little crocheting tutorial. If you like this little video, feel free to give it some thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, feel free to subscribe to the channel for more DIY videos this year. I'm very looking forward to be back in the next video. I'm gonna share the crochet pattern down in the description. I hope you have a good day, a good morning, or a good night whenever you're watching this video. And I can't wait to be back in the next video. I love you. See you soon. I'm out. Ciao. Thank you.